Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing exceptional. <laughs> I'm doing exceptional because I've had so much time to be able to get things done. My craft space is still a mess, but I have a project that I wanna work on and I wanna work on it with my friends here. So here we go. Let me tell you what I'm about to do. I'm going to a dinner um, at a restaurant tonight, uh, a, local, a local place here. And it's through work. It's a work dinner, so I'm so excited. I haven't been. I haven't done a work dinner. I don't even know how many years it's been since we've done a work dinner, but I'm going to one tonight. And I don't really do Christmas cards. I know, funny thing, right? Because I'm a I'm a paper crafter, but I'm not a card maker. Um, I thought about making some of those, you know, the the fabric co co collage thing cards, but honestly, I haven't had time to get back to that. And since dinner's tonight, in just a couple of hours, I thought. <laughs> And just a couple of hours, I thought, maybe I'll just do something fun. I've been wanting to do clusters um, for forever. And then I seen this video that um, from Natasha on Treasure Books that she did some Christmas clusters. And these are going to be a little bit different. But basically, she inspired me to just get down here and get it done. So I've got these little bags here in my stash from my days when I used to sell makeup. And I, I have a, still have a, quite a few of these. So I thought... I'll just do these. I need a dozen of them, I believe. So I'm going to just put some chocolates in here. No, I do not have the chocolates yet. I'm going to buy them on my way to dinner because I'm, I learned my lesson. I cannot keep chocolate in the house. So if I have time in a couple of hours here um, to make 12 of these um, and stop at the store to get the chocolates, then it will be a success. I have to let you know on a later video if I was successful. So my plan is to make a cluster. So I've already kind of pre-made a cluster to see what I like. I'm gonna basically do the same thing. So it's just layering some things. I've grabbed some buttons here. I've grabbed some little bells here. And because this is blue and silver, I'm gonna stay with the blue and silver theme. And then I thought, grabbing some sequins, why not? I know some of these are gonna be for men too, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm a girl and I'm making them and I want it to be sparkly. So let it, let's get to this. I think what I'll do is I'll set these aside for just a minute, you know, my giant mess on my desk here. I'm gonna put this one here to remember. I have this crazy outfit on that's um, like, my sleeves are like everywhere. So I'm hoping that they don't get in the way of crafting and I really hope they don't get inside my dinner, but. <laughs> Um, I, let's see what I have here. I have these from my, my, um, one of my tablecloths that I had cut apart and it had, I think, I believe it had some damage. I don't really, it probably did. I picked it up at a thrift store or an estate sale. So I picked out, I got 12 of these, um, and they got some threads. So I'll stick those right there. Um, let me move this over. I've got this lace right here, which I'm just going to cut pieces off and it's nice. I like that. Um, I found this over there in my stash, so I cut, thought this would be pretty. It's all, it's got some blues and whites on there. So let me put that up there. I thought I was gonna use some of this fabric, but I don't think I need it. I'm gonna get that out of the way. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sew the button onto the cluster. That way it gets the, it keeps the cluster together. I also, oh, at the very last minute, I thought, wouldn't this be fun to put on there too? You know, just like a little bit inside here. Okay, come on, get it together. Get it together, Sandra. You, you don't have time to be messing around. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, what she? See, I got caught up. I was supposed to do this sooner, but I got caught up moving things around, getting my crafting area ready for, I mean, my shipping and fabric area ready. So I thought I can just put this maybe like inside here a little bit, just for a little dangle, like a little piece of it. Wouldn't that be cute? I think that's cute. All right. Let's get to it. This is going to be my little sampler here. Although I think it is a piece of it. So what's the first thing that we do? We move all the stuff that we don't need off the desk. Let's move that. And let's move that over there. Here's a button gone rogue. And then let's set up six of them. Let's go. One or four. Let's do four. Let's see how far I can get. Maybe... The reason why I said 12 is because that would be couples. So there's six, six couples, possible couples. Um, so I figure if I can get six of them done, I'm still good to go because I can give a couple a bag, right? But if I manage to get all 12 done, one, two, three, four, five, six, if I can manage to get 12 of them done, then hooray, hooray, hooray. 
So I, I put that down first, and then I had my little piece of lace. So let's just cut some lace, and it really helps to have the scissors here when I'm doing things like this. So what about you, my friends? Do you do do you do Christmas cards or do you make Christmas goodies? Like, do you hand things? Do you give things out? I used to do Christmas cards, um, regular Christmas cards, and then I used to, and I would handwrite in every single one of them. And then I was, gosh, it was just so many cards and I just couldn't keep up with it anymore. So there was that. And then there was the whole, um, you know, financial part of the stamps. I mean, when I was sending out, I mean, I got up to the, in families, like, where do you, where does it, where does it begin? Where does it end? You know, sisters, brothers, spouses, um, families. Um, it's just, you know, you know what I mean? It just goes on and on. You got nephews, nieces, then you have their spouses. And then if you've made friends with their family members, you know, that don't usually do things together, or you've already know them because, you know, like, for instance, I had a brother that married a friend of mine. Well, I was already friends with her mom. So, I, you know, it just goes on and on and on. <laughs> and I just didn't know where to end, where to stop. And I didn't want to hurt someone's feelings. And I don't know about you, but I have been, I have before. I feel like I have more than I need. Oh, this is my extra one. I have before went someplace with a gift for everybody or like a little something except for one person because I didn't know that that one person was gonna be there and I felt so awkward and I thought, I'm never doing that again. So now, so then what I did, or not a gift, but a Christmas card. So then what I did is I started taking extra Christmas cards so that if that had ever happened again, I had something, you know, in my stash. I just had to go like to, to excuse myself to go in another room or something like that. And I could go and I could fill it out I mean, I would have it like pre-filled out, but I could address it at least so that it was personable. Is that, I don't know, that sounds so silly, doesn't it? But I just didn't, I don't like people to feel left out. I think, I've, you know, I, I know what that feels like. Um, I know what it feels like by, per, by having it done on purpose, and I know what it feels like by having it done to me on accident. I mean, both. And neither one feels good, but the accident one, you know, is the one that makes me, even though I was felt, even though I accidentally got left out, I felt bad for the other person, so that was an extra feel bad feeling. When it was done on purpose, I was just like, whatever. <laughs> I don't care, whatever. I do care, but I, it was, I only cared because it was hurtful. Okay, Ramble City. Anyhow, I don't want people to be left out. So I ended up, I stopped doing Christmas cards. So what I did to stop doing my Christmas cards, and this is gonna sound so horrible, is I started, I, I slimmed down my list ba based on who I was receiving cards from because there's people that I was learning that don't do the whole Christmas card thing. And so I thought, okay, well then maybe they just want to be left off the list. So I kind of went based on that and I still had such a huge thing. And I thought, okay, I can't do this. Once I started collecting grandkids the way I did, oh my gosh, like they just came, you know, it's like one year we had one grandkid, a couple years later, we got a second grandkid and then boom, the next year it was just like, Everybody was like, oh, wow, this is like the most exciting thing. Let's all, let's all do this. This is like, this is the popular thing to do, I guess. We're all going to have kids, mom, all of us, and we're going to have bazillions of them. We're all going to do them at the same time. Good night. We got twins in there. Like in one year, we got like four grandkids. I think four of them. And then my, um, my nephews, I have nephews and nieces that are the same ages not nephews and nieces. I have sisters that are the same ages as my children. So I ended up with my little nieces and nephews that are still, that are more like, well, I mean, I'm their aunt, but still like they, they fell under the, my mom, let me, let me straight, let me straighten my thoughts out here. So my, I have two sisters that are younger than me that are the same age as my kids. And I'm also love my nephews and nieces so much too. So I always did stuff for them. Well, anyways, when my sisters had kids, we um, had the same mom, but a different dad. But they still grew up around me. They grew up with my kids. And so they were, even though they were my sisters, they were like nieces and nephews at the same kind of, in, in a sense. Um, but my mom left, you know, she went to Europe before my sisters had any kids. So I didn't want my sisters to have to, have that empty feeling for their kids. I don't know how to explain that. So I took on for my mom. I took it on. I took it on. You know, I mean, like, it's not from my mom, but I took it on for her. Like, 
they're little kids. You know, they need to know that they're, they need to know about the extra love. So, <laughs> so I did that anyways, blah, blah, blah. So I had to get all these kids. Well, then I was like, okay, well, <laughs> problem solved. Christmas cards for nobody because I totally consume myself with making stuff for the kids. And then that grew because then my nieces and nephews, you know, they are started having kids. And then I'm thinking, oh, well, you know, my mom's not there for the. <laughs> so I'm like, my nieces and nephews that are older, that are like, um, not my, not older, my nieces and nephews that are my kids' ages. Oh my gosh. I'm so tangled up in my thoughts. <laughs> Anyhow, you can understand probably what I'm talking about. Maybe, I don't know. That um, it just grew. And that's what, so that is why. I have on the norm, 32, I think, 32 now. I think it's about 32 kids for all, for um, five, for five times a year that I do something for, for the different holidays. And then the sixth holiday is, is not Christmas, I'm sorry. The sixth holiday that I do something big is Halloween. And Halloween is where I have another extra group of kids that I jumble into my little, my, my, my nesting of, my collection of, <laughs> things that I like to do for the kids. Um, so that's six times a year. That's a lot, but I love it. I really do love it. I do enjoy it. I don't even remember why I was saying all this, but anyhow, good night. Christmas cards. Yes. So I don't do Christmas cards. That's what I was getting at. Whoa. It took me a long time to get around that block, didn't it? One, I'm just going to just kind of guesstimate these two. So I don't do Christmas cards. So we're going to this dinner and one of the gals, um, she doesn't watch my channel. I don't think she does, but if she does, hi, Emmy. Thank you, Emmy, for my Christmas card. I loved it. So Emmy um, came into work and she had Christmas cards. Of course she did. She's like all together. She's got it together. So she's handing out Christmas cards to everybody, putting them on their desks. And I was like, oh my gosh, um, I don't do Christmas cards, but I totally know how to make a cute little thing and I know how to put candy in a bag. So that's what we're doing. Whoops. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put, okay. One, a two, a three, four. Oh my gosh, I sound like the owl on the Tootsie Roll pop again. A one, a two, yeah. <laughs> oh, so anyhow, I would love to want to be, I would love to be good at Christmas cards, so I would do it, but I just, I, like I said, I, I never know where to stop, so that would probably just be, not be a good situation. Look at. I've been addicted to applesauce lately and I've got, the, they come in these, when I buy them at, I think it's at Costco. Is it Costco? When I can get four four jars in a box. But I love this square box. I love the height. It's just perfect for me. So I'm gonna, I brought it down here and I have a couple more upstairs as soon as, I should just empty out all my applesauces and put, put them in there. But I'm gonna throw my stuff in there. I'm gonna put it over there and hopefully that'll make it to the um, fabric room, which I'm so excited about. And then part of me says, oh, save these, you might use them. Oh. But then if I don't for this, I'll, I'm going to get rid of it. That's my promise to myself. All right. I had another piece of um, fabric here that I was supposed to use, but there it is. Here's another piece. This is, um, I believe we did this together when I cut this apart. And I think this was for the doily journal that ended up not going with me to North Carolina. I think that's what this is parts from. So I liked this just for a little added part. So I need one. Um, two, whoops, three, whoops, come on, one, two, three, four, five, and six, there we go, oh, and I have one big pretty one left over, isn't that pretty, so I just thought this looked so pretty, just even by itself with that, that's just gorgeous, but... All right, now let's get these on there. So I think what I wanted to do is I wanted to put this, maybe the lace down first, and that's just to give it some extra dimension, right? And then I'm gonna put that on there. And that really can just go anywhere. And then I liked this with that little bit of blue, and I need it to go kind of in the middle though so that I can catch, capture some of that those pieces. And then that was gonna go on the front like so, but whatever which way. I think like that. And then I believe that's all the pieces that I had. And I thought, oh, we'll just, we'll just put a button on there. Just put a button on it and sew the button down. Isn't that cute? So easy. Okay, so I'm gonna do six for sure. <laughs> it's 
see where I'm at. And then um, if I have time, I will do, I will do um, six more and everybody can have their own little bag. But I kind of think, I, well, I mean like I would be, if I was doing Christmas cards, I'd be giving like one Christmas card to a couple, right? Yeah, quit being so hard on yourself, Sandra. Just do one per couple. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Um, everybody's happy. I'm happy. I had some pretty cool thread here. What'd I do with it? Pretty cool. It's cool because it's a blue. It's a blue color. Um, and I'm going to take it out of there. Okay, let's see. How does this work? Some more stuff that I bought at yard sales. I love... I, I never... I always find tons of this at yard sales and thrift stores. Do you? I do. I find tons of it. And let's see. There's like two different colors going on here. I don't want it to look dingy though. And I, sometimes I think that like when they stick out or they, they hang out in the thrift stores, they get like dusty. Or yard sales, especially yard sales. Yeah, maybe yard sales are bigger. I Let's grab a needle. I want one that's going to go through my buttons. And I think most of them will. Yep, pretty good. So, oh my gosh, I never checked to see if I'm even on the camera. Yes, thank, thank goodness. I think I've gotten so, gosh, I hope I don't jinx myself now, but um, I've been doing this long enough that I almost don't have to check the camera, but to the point now that I forget to check the camera and it's, I probably should check it once in a blue moon. So I'm gonna just, Go through the back here. And I'm going to leave a tail. A little bit of a tail back there. You'll see, and then I think this is going to be the easiest for me. Whoops. There we go. I just want this tail like that. And then I just want to double check before I go any further. I'm not a big... So I, I want to capture some more of these pieces in there. So maybe scooch that up a little bit like that. And then I'm just gonna tie that when I'm done. I'm not too concerned about um, it being like perfect. It's not gonna go on a piece of um, like somebody's clothes. <gasps> oh my gosh, should I put a little pin on the back? They can wear it like a little Christmas pin. Oops, look at me tying my little tail up. I'm doing that, leaving that tail because I'm gonna tie the knot back there and I'm gonna have the tail to tie it to. Does that make sense? Like, I'm just gonna go like this and just tie it. I guess I can do that right now. And then I could do it again at the end. So I can, I'm just doing it right now so I can show you, but see, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna tie it in the actual knot. OCD. Okay, let's just do the knot. I'll do another one when I'm done. Okay. That's going to make it easier for me, I believe. So, um, I guess I could be done right there, couldn't I? Let me go a couple more times here. Actually, let me just tug. So if I wanted, I can just grab that down here and I can just kind of sew that in a little bit. It's going to be hidden, right? I think so. Do you see what I'm doing? I just want to make sure that that's, I don't want this piece to just fall off to the one end. So I'm going to go through the, the stitching itself. See, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry if you can't. I'm just going to, I'm kind of weaving it through. I don't know how to sew. I just, to me, that makes sense. Like, I want it to stay. So what do I need to do to it to make it stay? I need to weave it a little bit through. And then, yeah, there we go. I can always come back with some glue. I heard somebody say, thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I swear. I know that I'm filming this and then you're watching it after I film it, but I, I think I know enough of my friends here. I feel like I know you well enough to know that that's exactly what you're gonna be saying. Like, <laughs> so when I say I can hear you, I, I feel like I can hear you. As crazy as that sounds. I'm okay, I'm okay with, I'm okay with sounding crazy. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
there we go. And then I didn't even tie that knot like I said I was going to do. Isn't that silly? Silly, silly, silly. I wonder if I have any of those little pins like you can make. Do you think anybody would wear it? Oh no! Look it, I didn't sew that in. Does that mean I, I do it now or do I just glue it? I really think it's gonna be cute in there. Dang it. Well, see what happens when you're talking and not paying attention, lady? Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. It's still attached to my, my thing here. I'm going, the thread is still attached to my um, cluster, so I'm going to just try and thread this. There we go, man, I remember years ago, I was never able to do that. For, I wasn't, I never, I was not able to do that for many, many years until I had my cataract surgery, and that was, like one of the nicest things was like, oh my gosh, I can thread a needle. And Jason, he would throw the needles for me, but now that he's he's like always got to have his glasses on, now he's got reading glasses. And so, geez, am I on the right side? Yes. Okay, what's happening here, lady? Um, and now he's like, I can't see, I can't see. Come on, everybody. Let's play nice. Sandra doesn't know what she's doing. All right, let's see. Okay. I might have to put some glue on that anyways. I'm not, I've never played with these little fringy things before, have you? This isn't, the fringe is taking the fun out of it for me right now, just saying. I should have just glued it in. It would have been made my life easier. But it's part of the challenge too, like why? Why didn't I get it in there? Why can't I do it or not? Is my thread just too long? Here we go. I think it would have been much easier had I done it all together. I don't know. We'll find out with the next one. Hopefully, I will be able to have a comparison. Okay, I do like it. That is in there. So, there we go. And then this, I'm gonna, once again, take that off and just tie this in a knot. Wasn't that silly? But I do like it. Okay. We'll give that a little snip. And that one too. So then my plan would be to put it on the bag that will have candy in there. And I didn't put any sequins on there, so maybe, maybe I just need to not do that. So the bag will be tied, right? And then this will go on there. But, so I have a little bell, and I thought I would just pin this on, geez, into the onto the bag. But I need to make sure that, um, actually, I wonder if I can just go around the button. I was gonna stick it through the button, but then I didn't want the button hanging off of it. So let me open that up a little bit more. I wonder if I just, Take that through around the button, like that. Does that look silly? It's not really dingly then, is it? It's still cute, I like it. All right, so if I do that, oh, I guess it's dingly, and that's cute, isn't it? I'm like fussing with this bag too much. Okay, I'm gonna try and find those little clips, I'll be right back. Okay, I found them, but guess what? I have to sew them on or glue them on, and they're gold. 
And as much as I like mixed metal, I just feel like this would look like a, an afterthought. So I'm not gonna hodgepodge that together. I'm gonna put these back in their little drawer and put them away. What I'm going to do instead is pin them to this bag. And I tr sorry, I already pinned it on there. I was fussing with it. And I've decided that to pin it, I'm gonna open the bag. But what I did is I, these pins aren't that sharp. I mean, I don't know, or they're thick. It's hard for me to get them through. So I'm gonna, I went ahead and I threaded it through the back of this so that I had the cluster in, in, in it. And then I took this and I weaved it in a couple of times. So I just stuck it in, cause this is a mesh netting or whatever. It's not that strong. So I just wanna kinda just poke it through a few places without getting that ribbon and getting up to where that tie, with the ribbon, the tie is without catching it. But it's inside of another secured where it's, um, you know, the thread, hold on, let me finish this. This is probably the hardest part right here for me. Getting it in that little loop, there we go. So because of the, the it's got that thread, you know, where it was sewn to make that little, where the th ribbon goes through. I just feel like it's a little bit more secure. So if I weaved it in and out of that, I can then pull this. I can just turn my little, my little snowflake cluster. Oh, that is what it looks like, huh? My little snowflake cluster. And then when I hand them to them, they can, they can get it. Now, if it twists and turns and everything afterwards, that's fine. I'm gonna have candy in them. Maybe if I throw like a bunch of buttons on in here just to kind of see what the weight. I can get them out. So I'm gonna buy these candies and then I'm gonna fill these little bags with them because I really don't wanna bring the candy home. So I'm just gonna buy the candy, fill six bags in the parking lot. <laughs> because that's how I roll. And then um, and then we'll have that and then they'll have their candies in there. Yeah, cute, huh? Now, I may not get to anything that says made from Sandra, but I'll be handing them to them so they should know. Correct, correct, correct. You get the buttons out. They're not getting on my buttons. Okay, all right. Now let's see, can I do this? Can I do this a few more times? I don't know. Does anybody wanna see me keep doing this over and over again? Let's go ahead and lay them out. So we have the lace, which is lovely. So we have lace there. Come on, lay down lace. And then we have this right there. And then we had a piece of this. It's just for decoration, some some different looks. Maybe I should, maybe I will go back in there with a little bit of glue. Maybe that'll help to set it down better. I don't know. And then I had this piece right here. Is that all the pieces? I think it is. And then minus the button, right? So then we have a button. And everybody can have a different button. I have plenty of blue buttons in here to choose from. I know this is gonna sound really silly, but I don't want to give out like the best buttons to people for people like see I love this I think that's gonna look so pretty in a journal I love the texture in there and although I'm making this for people that I, I think are very nice I don't want to give like my best buttons to on something that may end up I know this is hard to believe but in the garbage <laughs> I'm like don't throw it away give it back I'll put it in a journal but you know it could so they don't know what to do. If you don't know what to do with it, what would you do? You'd be like, um, yeah, okay, this is cute, but what do I do with this now? Hopefully, if they don't use it, it would be something they could re-gift to somebody else as a cute little um, decoration. But this is my Christmas card. And in all fairness, Christmas cards get tossed out too, right? I do know that's a fact. So handmade or not, they get tossed out. I mean, how many things can we save? I'm just kidding. Looking at my oh, my craft room, my craft space, you're like, well, apparently you can save everything. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see how would I want this on there. I just want like that. And then there's another cute little button. And I'm going to put that needle there. It's one, two, three. Yes, I'm still making six. These are pretty cute, though. I really do like them. Um, I... I thought about making them all different, but then, you know, you see how long it takes me to figure out what I'm doing. Could you imagine? Plus, I only have these blue bags. I thought I had gold bags, but I must have used them all up with the kids already. I did use them, I think, for one of the, I want to say the St. Patty's Day things is like the bag, like with the gold, like, am I missing something? No. Yes, I am missing something. I'm missing this. So like their bag of gold, 
Um, so their chocolate, I think I put their $2 bill or their candy or whatever in the gold bag. That is one of the things I, I wish I would have re, you know, thought my things or thought my things through a little bit more with the holidays with the kids because I do, they're all like lined out together. So there's Christmas at the end of the year. Well, they're all kind of jumbled together. So Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day and Easter. They're all like in, sometimes they can all three be in March. <laughs> like, no, sorry. I guess Valentine's Day is never in March. Okay, well, they're... <laughs> But they, you see what I'm saying? They're all like February, March, right there. Sometimes if it's spread out to April, that's really nice. I get a little bit of a break, but, um, and then Christmas and Halloween. Well, Halloween's in October, November, December. I've got Christmas, right? You would think, oh, that's plenty of time. But don't forget that 30 something kids that I do something for every year. I mean, every holiday, every year, they have birthdays and that's one of the six. So that's throughout the year. And sometimes there's, you know, like five or six in one month. And then you think, oh, well, then you get like a little break. But I don't get a break because well, because I have, um, you know, the next month. And sometimes it's in a holiday. So like December, I have, I think I have two, I have three, three kids in November for birthdays. And then in December, I have one, two, three, four, four in December. And then there's Christmas, right? And then January, I have a couple. So it's like somebody, did I forget this on somebody? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, well, oh, that's my extra one? I don't know. I don't even know where I'm at here. Okay, let's get this sewn. Look at, look at me go. I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself right now. I haven't even decided. I mean, I haven't thought about birthdays yet because um, I'm like behind the ball. I'm behind the eight ball. I keep saying that, but like, there must be like a, like a ton of eight balls here, I, and I can't get out from behind any of them. They're all they're like lining up against me. <laughs> so, Christmas, I'm still working on for them, and um, I already know what I want to do for Halloween next year, sort of. I mean, so I feel like I could start that soon, you know, as soon as I'm able to. I think what I'm gonna do is make sure, I wanna get make sure I get through that little thing there. So let's, see I missed it again. I'm gonna go right through that fringe. I wanna get through the fringe. And then maybe, do you think I should try and put the, the bell on right now? Would that be easier? Would it be harder to sew around? I can't figure that out, so let's just go with this. There we go. All right, so, so far, um, I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and tie that one off really quick, because that's the button. And I don't have to, I mean, like, this isn't made to wear. It's just a decoration, so I just need it to stay. I only need to tie that button on the one time. Now I can go underneath it, and I can start sewing some other pieces here. And, yeah, like that. And then I'm gonna go in with some glue. So I just wanna tack it down a little bit down here without interfering with my fringe. Okay, I'm gonna stick that like that and that right here down like that. The whole idea is to have some movement so I don't wanna over glue, but I definitely want it to stay together. <laughs> uh, and I want that down. Okay, there we go. And maybe this one too. The bottom can be more flowy. Okay, let's see. Okay, my sleeve just threw down one of my little snowflakes. Yeah, I think that's what these are, little snowflakes. Okay, that one is, I feel like is done, except for the bell. So let's get the bell on. 
Here we have the bell. I'm gonna pull that apart, stick it on there like that. Well, it's gotta stay with this. I'm just putting it around the button. Um, so I did try putting it through the hole. I didn't like the way it was looking. That's why I'm not doing that. If I don't remember if I finished my sentence on that. I'm so sorry. But that is, that is what happened. And so I like this. Like that. <laughs> and then we need to take another pin here. Oops, there's a big button. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's one. I already had one out. Another one of these little pins. And you can use any kind of pin, really. I just have these bulb pins, so I'm using them. And then I'm gonna stick it through here. And then I just weaved it through this bag. Going through that, hopefully, I'm not gonna do I, am I being like overly concerned here over something I don't need to be, maybe? There we go. And as long as I can pull my strings, there we go. All right, there we have it. Okay, so I've got two of them done. And they're gonna be ready for those little candies inside and then I'll hand these out. And these will be my little things, like Merry Christmas. <laughs> do what you will with them. But if you throw them away, don't tell me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these together, and I'll show you what I got in a minute. All right, I decided to go ahead and use a little bit of glue. It's going to make my life a little bit easier, and um, who wants to struggle? So I just tapped a little bit of glue down around the... I have these last two to do, so let me just do them together. I went ahead, I know I'm gonna put this down. I want to sew and I'm using my needle and thread. So I don't wanna go right in the middle or you know, where I'm gonna, I'm hoping to stay away from where I'm gonna stick my needle and thread. But I'm using just some dots, you know, here and there, just to kind of give me a little bit of stability or keep it, you know, together, so to speak. And then I took this piece right here and I went it down below where all those little tails are. Right there, that's quite a bit of the glue, but I'm not really sewing into that, I don't think. And then I'm just gonna lay that down. That way, if I don't catch it with my needle and thread, I have it glued down, and I also glued it down where these little tassel things are trying to fall out. So, kinda, you know, two birds, one stone. Two birds, one line of glue. Then I'm gonna take my piece here, and this was the other piece that I wanted to have a little bit of, I wanted to have a little free flow, but I also wanted to have a little bit of, I want it to stay put. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down, and then just get my little tassel -y things out here. And I, I have glue on my fingers already, so it's gonna make it a little difficult. And like this one has a lot of little loose pieces, and that's okay. I just, as long as I keep my tassels underneath it, that's what I'm trying to work, that's what I'm working for. So I'm gonna just grab it like a piece, a little dot there, a little dot there. Hopefully that was gonna work. And then I will just turn this, put a little bit there. Okay, I've got it glued to my finger, so I need to, <laughs> I need a little help. Okay, there we go. Um, and then I, I think I want to like pull this piece just right there. That's gonna require another dab of this glue. There we go, just, just like so. I don't wanna glue it to the little tassels, I just want them to be underneath it. There, see, it just, it just, it helps me to like, just keep it set there. And then I'll put do the same thing with this one. Just get down there, come on you guys. All right. 
and then back here. Oh man, I'm gonna show up to dinner with glue all stuck to my fingers, I know it. And no matter how hard I try to get it off, I never get it all off. That's okay. It's better than showing up with the brown ink or paint on my hands that I can't get off. <laughs> like, I have to pretend like I'm a mechanic or something. Okay, hopefully that stays down for a sec while I finish this. So the first two, I haven't done any glue yet. I think I'm gonna go back and then I'll just figure that out. And then this one, I guess I didn't get that little piece down. Oh, there we go. Ooh. All right, and then the same thing with this. I want the top, so I already know that. I wanna want the sides, kind of, but I want the, the top pieces to, to lay down and be happy and nice. And the bottom part can be the free flow part. There we go. And then I just have to sew my button on, which, oh, that's got four, that's, okay. I said no, go back in your home. There we go, I'll put that one there. And then we have this one right here. Let's get this one on, which way do I want it? I want it this way, because there's a little coffee stain right there from, you know, when I bought it. So I'm gonna go ahead and no one at my dinner tonight is going to know what, when I say, oh yeah, it's coffee dyed on purpose, they'll be like, um, if I say coffee dyed, they'll be like, oh, well, I know just the thing to get that out. No, thank you. <laughs> so I'll just get that there. I'm going to go ahead and tack this little piece down here. There we go. All right. And then that button will go there. And see how much easier, like, it's already together. So, I just tried. I thought I could do it the other way easier, but apparently that wasn't easier. And I also, sometimes, you know, like, when you're in a hurry, at least for me, I think, oh, I'm just going to do it like, like this. It'll be faster. But no, it ends, it takes long because now I have to go back to the other two or th two or three. I have to go backwards and go find where I need to put the glue instead of just moving forward. Okay, so I will be back when I'm all finished. All right, I'm done. Oh my gosh. And um, yes, gluing them first and then stitching the little button on there and then attaching everything to better. So here we go. I have six of them. They look so cute. They're not, they're all little perfectly imperfect, which is fine with me. They got a little jingle on it. Um, if I had more time, I would have punched out a little thing to tie on the bow that just said Merry Christmas, but I don't want to get inky and... Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so that's what I did. So I love these. I think they're super cute. Hopefully I remember about making these because how fun. These little clusters and even the little bags. What a fun little thing to just a little adding on to something. Even onto the, a package or these clusters. Just putting it on top of a package or in a stocking. Or even making a cute little button. Or not a button, but like a little brooch. Like a little snowflake brooch. So there's my take on a snowflake. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. I really enjoyed making this, and it was super fun getting to hang out with you again. I will see you on the next video. Enjoy all your moments. Bye.